This is the TCL 30 SE 64 gig. Other reviews say it comes with a screen protector. It doesn't. Or a cover. It doesn't. In the box you get your phone. You get charging cable. Mains adapter. And of course your pokey thing. So you can put in your USB card, not USB card, your uh, SIM card, and your memory expansion. Um, so far the phone's okay. I've had it for 24 hours. It feels very, very weak physically. But then my old phone is um, a metal case, not a plastic one, so it feels a lot chunkier. The screen width is slightly narrower than my old phone even though it's a lot longer. So it feels weird, but it does stay in the hand better because it's not as wide. So ergonomically, it's better. Um, the sound quality, the speaker is louder than my old phone. My old phone was quite a good one. The speaker's louder, but it's not as good a quality. It's a bit more tinny. Uh, the video quality, it's a Actually, it's a 240 by 1080 video and the rear-facing camera, you can have what's called a max pixel, which is 50 megapixel camera. And it is pretty good. You've also got macro settings on the camera as well, so you can do like a proper close-up or something. So it actually does focus on a close-up. Whereas my old phone... You basically you couldn't zoom in, you couldn't focus, so the pictures were actually quite crap. This one is pretty good. I could actually take a photograph of a wasp, and it was in crystal clear quality. Um, so far it's okay. Now the problem is going to be trying to find a case for it, because the phone is relatively new, it's only been out for about four months. So trying to get a case or a cover for it so it doesn't get scratched or damaged, because the camera lens is quite prominent so I'm worried about putting it on a surface and the lens getting scratched. So let's see how it goes. There was a problem with the video camera which I have solved theoretically. For some reason for some reason with the camera I was having it set for the 1080 setting and instead of that it's recording video at this setting which is actually completely wrong to what it was doing. What it was recording was extreme, extreme widescreen, which I will try and show you now. Now I tried changing it so it should have been 16 by nine, but what it was actually recording is between here and here and the full width of the screen. So it's actually doing it more like 16 by 5 or 16 by 4. I tried resetting it, made no difference. How I cured it and got it to actually work properly was I went in and I set the camera because that's how it was recording, which was ridiculous because no fucker's going to use that sort of setting. And you had a green band on top of the, on top of the screen as well. So, me to get it working back normally, I set the camera at 720 4 by 3 ratio, which gives you that quality. 1280 by 720, which is standard HD quality. I then set it back for high definition quality, which now means it's recording at 1920 by 1080. It won't mean anything to muggles, but if you're a nerd and you actually want your tech to work how it's supposed to. So it's now recording proper 19, uh, 16 by 9. So go into the video settings, change the quality to 720, record a video, then change it back to 1080. And then it should record properly. Hockey cock here. Um, the phone, because it's a six and a half inch screen, I think it's six and a half inch, 
none of the usual shops around town, and I've tried all of them, will sell a case for it. So it's a little bit of a concern because the cameras are very, they stick out quite a bit on the back, at least three or four mil, which doesn't sound much until you put it down and they scratch like fuck. So I'm going to be very careful with it. Now, I can improvise stuff. I'm quite good at doing improvisation. This is your cheapy bog standard reading glasses pouch case thing. It fits in there perfectly. Well, not quite perfectly. You cut a couple of holes in the back for your camera and it fits. Yep. Doesn't quite do up, but it fits. Now, I like, because I ride a motorbike, I need a bit more protection. Fortunately, because I ride a motorbike, I have got lots of old crap lying around, like bike leathers that don't fit me. Now, this is the knee pad. This was the knee pad protection. I know it looks like a tit. Anyhow, the kneecap protection works for opening the flap, which just happens to be the perfect size for the phone to go into. So like I said, glasses case is pretty much the same size as the phone. And it goes in there, nice and snug. It actually fits in there in a very snug way. So it's not banging around loose. It looks very gay. Having your phone inside like a leather bum bag pouch sort of thing. But put a needle and thread and I can cut that down to size. So uh, oh, other little things you could try. Um, if you can find a shop that sells your Filofax, yes, some shops do still sell them. You could use that. As, a, um, as your phone case. It's just something to give it a bit of protection so if you drop it, it's not going to fuck completely. Uh, you could also try um, a pencil case, pen case, something that has that you can close, will stay closed, and has a bit of padding inside, like a bit of felt. Or you can get yourself one of these. This is a, um, what do you call it, for sports injuries. You get them for like 50p. You get like two for a quid in a pen shop. It's basically a bit of, what you call it, neoprene. You get something like that, it fits inside, stitch up the end, fold over the top, you got yourself a nice bit of protection. The first thing you do when you get your phone, any phone, go to your settings, go to your SIM card, SIM card and mobile network. Turn off your mobile data. If you don't, even if you turn on your Wi-Fi, it will still use your mobile data first. I forgot to do it because I was too busy turning off the hundred or so background processes. And I got a text message yesterday telling me I now have zero credit. And I've gone through 10 quid's worth overnight just by doing some background running stuff. So, mobile data, turn it off. Update on the phone. <laughs> you may notice I'm recording this on my old phone. Mm -hmm. This may be a pain in the ass phone, but it does actually work. And I can actually transfer information from the phone to my computer. I like the TCL shit which after two weeks of operation, it took me 10 days to get the phone. So for two weeks, it worked fine. No trouble at all. And now it would not let me transfer any of the videos, photographs to the computer or via Bluetooth or by any other kind of connection. The only option I've got to actually remove the videos and pictures from the phone to my computer is by uploading them via Wi-Fi mm -hmm, to Google Drive, and then transferring it from Google Drive back down to my computer. So it took me an hour online and on phone calls to actually get through to get a refund, which will hopefully be 
tomorrow afternoon, they said. That's if they collect it, when they collect it, and when they decide to actually receive it. Because the last time with the um, boss camera, which nearly caught on fire, they kept trying to send it back to me and trying to charge me to collect it. So if I do get that and I get the refund, it would sort of cost me over £25 in phone calls. Because you can't do a mobile phone return online. You can't go by their web chat online. They won't do it. And if you ring up the number they give you, you get transferred. Five times I was transferred. Then they hung up on me. I was transferred again five times. It cost me £25 in phone calls just today. There's no customer service from Curry's. They won't do shit. So, yeah. It's not often I say this because I always believe there's always time for lubrication, but Curry's can go fuck themselves in the ass with zero lubrication. The phone, TCR, piece of fucking shit. Bye-bye.